So we're here setting up our smart document camera, which is here. It's the slightly older version. Uh, they have had new version shipping out for the past 12 months, but the process and the setup is basically the same. I have my laptop already up and running, and it is attached to the smart board, which is on the other side, right over here. It happens to be a wall mounted, though it doesn't matter. So already, I have the blue cable from the laptop uh, heading from here and going to the smart board. I don't want that. What I instead want to do is unplug that from the smart board and looking at the back of the document camera, I bring it closer for your inspection. Looking at the back, we have power. We have a place where we can plug in one of these that says RGB out. So this is our output to our LCD projector. RGB in, and there's a little picture of a laptop computer. So this is where, well, we'll get to that in a moment. We have a video out, which you'll probably want to ignore, an output ignore, and then there's a place for the USB to connect, and you can see that inside there, okay? While we have this out, on top we've looked at some of the options you've got. In essence, the important ones are power, and then we have the toggle between the PC and the document camera. The default shows up as the document camera, and then if you touch that button, it will switch it over to the PC view. So, I've attached nothing. Here we go. We'll start the process. I'm going to take this. Again, the other end is attached to my smart board. In other words, my LCD projector. So I'm going to put it into the slot where it says RGB out. There's a picture of an LCD projector. Okay. Step two or in no particular order, we need to have power. So I've already plugged in power to the outlet. I now need to take the end, and there's a fairly standard round receptacle. I'm going to plug this into where it says DC in 12 volts. Plug it in. The power button will light up red, just indicating that the power is to the unit but hasn't gone from the unit to elsewhere. Okay. The next thing I need to do I need to get the signal, the video signal, from the laptop to the document camera. That's been included. We've got another VGA cable that we can toss in here. So one end into the laptop, the other end to RGB in, where there's a picture of a laptop. Okay. The last connector I need to use is a USB cable. That also comes with the document camera. One end is very standard, like any other USB connector. The other end is very much like the one that we see in the smart board. It looks like a house or a capital letter D. So the one, of course, that looks like a regular USB connector goes into any USB connection in the laptop. The other end goes into where it says USB. document camera. Connections have been set. I'm going to touch the power button. I'm going to look over here at the smart board, ideally, and it's cycled off. There we go. So we are now looking live at whatever is going on underneath the smart board's uh, document camera. If I then touch the button on the top of the document camera that says PC and has a picture of a laptop next to it, then it will click over and it will show me what's on my desktop. There we go. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it informative.